What's up guys? Got some really big news here for you. Um, we got the first set of figures from the factory that are using the, the actual molds and they got the almost the final paint color. We got a couple tweaks. We got a couple tweaks on the mold, but I just wanted to get on here and give you an update and kind of just show you everything that we got to just tweak because we're going to be getting these figures out to you pretty quick. Um, I know we are shooting for July and we just had a couple little things we had to fix and I want to make these figures like just the best I can and super awesome for you. So I just want to show you what uh, what we're working on and what we got so far. Um, so one of the fixes we want um, is just the joints like they all right now it's like basically a fully like it's like a perfect figure like I love it um, the articulation is awesome um, I just want to tighten up some of these joints like you could this this figure could be good to go right now I've seen a lot of other figures that that their joints aren't even as tight as these but I just want a little bit tighter in on some of the ball joints um, like in the hands and feet I want these to just be these come out like it's kind of it's good because it's easy to swap things but and they hold nice and tight, but um, I probably want it just a little bit tighter. So I'm going to have them fix those. Uh, one thing they were able to do, like on um, some of the figures, is do this dark wash. That was one thing I had uh, when I got the, the first samples from the figure where they just kind of do a 3D print um, and they paint it. Um, they did a they did a version, but, but then uh, I, want, I had my buddy go through and give it a dark wash. So they were able to go and... And basically replicate that so here's what they gave me for the for one of the first figures and then um, here's what the final version looks like so as you can see there's like super close and I'm, I'm loving it <clears throat> it's looking really cool one thing they are able to do that's uh, that's cool is all the armor pieces have are like a shiny material where like the mat like the the skin will be like a mat um, like the fur you got the lion and the shark will be like more of a matte finish for the for the skin um, and I it just kind of that little difference in, in between the armor and the skin looks great um, the bear he's got some cool features like these gauntlets they can rotate you can pop them out and I had him add this little hole there so you can get crazy with some of the weapons a lot of the weapons now have like little little nubs or whatever that you can put on there so if you want to put a gun on his forearm you can do that um, you can take off their their armor right here add on little different things if you want to put like a you know do some 3d printing and add some things onto them it'll be super simple i had them add this like the a little hole or a cavity on the side so same thing so that you can uh so that you could pop off some of these weapons and like put them on there but that's actually one of the fixes i need them to make is that needs to just be a little bit tighter like right now it it doesn't it like barely hold so so we're gonna have him tighten that up the wolf he turned out awesome love how he looked he's got that same that that dark wash going on uh, one fix probably the lion he needs the most work and the pantone I gave him it's I wanted it a little bit more like orange like no this is like and even in the on video this is I don't know it's a little bit weird um like if I show this orange, that's that's like probably too orange on camera, but I kind of want it a little bit in in between the two. But uh, anyway, that's one fix we need to have them do on the lion. The other thing is, as you can see, the head. I think they they injected it in this like brownish plastic, which is different from this. Was like that's the actual plastic. They didn't paint that, so I want them to inject it in the same color, so that instead of this painting the face, they paint like the fur. So. So it all looks the same. Like, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's just a little bit different. And yeah, he turned out like really cool though. Like I like the, the lion. One thing that's uh, really cool and easy that, that we'll be, be able to do is like all the shoulder pieces pop out too. So you can either do like a one-armed, almost like a gladiator look. And so they got this little ball joint, which can pop in and out. So sometimes it pops out like that and then sometimes it stays in like it kind of depends on how you get it Yeah, and how like hard that is but so that'll pop pop out too if I want to so you just got to pull it like really hard or whatever maybe warm it up a little bit 
But, uh, and that can be a cool look too, if you're like looking to customize stuff or if you get a couple different, you wanna do some army building and make some look different. Um, that That's like one way to do it. I just wanna make these like as versatile as I can. And yeah, they, they turned out awesome. So I'm super excited to get the final version over to you. <clears throat> the shark, he looks, he looks really cool. Um, the Pantone that they gave on him, like on the armor, I actually had it, it was a little bit different, but they sent this over to me and I was like, oh, that, that actually looks awesome. <laughs> like it's uh, it just looks like a, like a shark. It's almost like that, uh, that ocean blue, like in the Caribbean or something like that. So that turned out really cool. And I'm just going to, I'm going to keep it like that because I, I don't think there is worth changing. And then the only other fix on him he needs is the, uh, they painted his head part, like the top part, uh, the metal part. So it should be that same skin color. Oh, and then the teeth right here on this armor piece, that should be like, they put it white where it should be like this kind of metal, but he will be really cool looking. Um, and then these are, I like to call them like the army builders because I, I picture these like almost like Warhammer. It's like a mix of Warhammer 40K and uh, Battle Beast. That's kind of how I always talk about them. Um, this is like your leader. He doesn't have the helmet or whatever. And then you got a whole bunch of army builders, uh, troops or whatever. And all the, all the weapons, they're like modular. So you can take them apart. They come in four pieces. So as I make new weapons, you can mix and match. Or if you just want like half the gun or part of the gun or do whatever. Uh, I like the bear, like with his, his gun, I, I kind of replicated the, uh, off of aliens, the the gun that uh, well not exact, it's like obviously like a, a mini gun or whatever, but uh, that Vasquez or Drake use if you've seen aliens. It's I just like that holding a big old gun like that. So you always got to have one uh, one character doing that. Oh, and part I don't think uh, these hands had the dark wash, so they they sent me multiple versions or just two versions. Uh, as you can see, this wolf. He didn't get the wash, so I think, I don't know if they were just showing me the difference of the two, but I think that, as you can see, like the, the dark wash, it just really makes that fur pop. He looks he looks awesome. And uh, it just kind of shows how the different uh, way they can hold the guns and like the way the wrist works. I want that, this is the thing, I wanted it to just be a little bit tighter right there. It's, it's nice because you can pop it out easy, like, and it pops on nice, but I just want it a little bit tighter, but it goes up and down or side to side, like a ton of range of motion. So that's that's really cool. Um, here's the shark kind of trooper. You take this off. And you could put it put it right here if you wanted. some crazy stuff same thing he looks he looks cool just want to tighten up some of these yeah you can see maybe it's on the shark you can see how it just like plops down a little bit but but uh yeah we'll get that fixed and the lion same thing with his skin just got to fix that a little bit but uh yeah here's the helmeted version thing i, I like that a lot it looks really cool Anyway, thanks for all your support, guys. I'm super excited to get these out to you. I'm sorry it's taking a little bit longer, but it looks like it's not going to be um, like too much longer. Uh, we're really close. I know a lot of Kickstarters sometimes they they go like crazy long, but we I really tried. I actually tried to like give myself a lot of room, but whatever it is, like making toys just takes a little bit longer um, than other things. So, but I'm super happy with it, where they're at right now. Um, can't wait to get these out to you. So yeah, here we go. Thanks again.